Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Ostriv. Uh, I believe I've been calling this Tri-Town Alpha. And uh, yeah, this is uh, Alpha 3 Patch 1. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's, uh, you know, we got our uh, village here. It's uh, apparently uh, there was a, uh, a fix uh, came out just recently that uh, fixes the economy so that um, uh, the uh, income and expenses are tracked by game time not by frames so that should uh, that should help uh, quite a bit uh, so we've got uh, a second farm queued and we've got three fields here operating uh, we're building some houses uh, and that's really where we're at. Uh, we're uh, running some uh, tree fields here, uh, so our carpentry should be fine for supply. Uh, so I uh, guess what I'll do is I'll up the tempo and we'll let, uh, we'll let things run. Uh, we're a month and a half away from harvest here, uh, and we're in our um, third year, fourth year of the uh, the game so uh, what we've got we've got um, uh, we've got uh, a messenger from Marefa um, so we've got um, uh, fish we got buckwheat uh, we got potatoes um, uh, what are offering demanding uh, we're, we're not warehousing anything to sell just yet, so that's fine. Uh, now, I want to check on the economy tab here. Uh, we imported a fair bit, but we're actually losing money. Uh, yeah, we're losing money anyway. So... Uh, yeah, but I'll uh, let that filter out because uh, because the um, uh, the information isn't uh, quite uh, um, going to be accurate. Given uh, that the last uh, last time I had the game open, there was a bug with the economy. But see, now harvest is uh, operational here, uh, so we're going to have uh, plenty of. Uh, of, of food and everything so that's good this will also um, uh, uh, bring the uh, uh, employment up so that uh, there's jobs available uh, which will attract uh, new settlers and that's where we're at right now we need to get uh, settlers in so that the uh, the uh, workforce is high enough that we can start doing other things Um, we've even had uh, one uh, citizen die of uh, old age, uh, which is, uh, you know, quite uh, qu uh, quite a nice detail. Now, obviously, uh, for newborns, uh, <laughs> it'll be 18 years from the uh, settlement date before we start getting that. Uh, but some families, they come in with, uh, oh, we've got... Uh, families here yeah that have uh, adult children here uh, we've got some younger uh, children um, yeah so uh, ultimately uh, wait did have I built a chap oh I've got a chapel queued okay uh, so when we get up to the uh, hundred uh, people uh, uh, Mark, we'll still be able to have uh, we'll we'll still be able to import people, uh, so to speak. Uh, when this farm gets up, then I'll put uh, fields along here, and I think I I think I'm going to grow something else there. I'm not sure. Uh, I think we can possibly get away with just the uh, main farm workers. I think there's enough time to sow and reap uh, and uh, and collect and all of that uh, with just the five uh, farm workers. 
Although it'd be nice if you could hire a few more. Uh, anyway. Yeah, so it was with the... Uh, oh, uh, what does Durkachi have to offer? Salt, lime. Uh, demands wheat and shoes. Uh, okay. Um, I think what we need is a stack more people in... Uh, oh, we had somebody else die of old age. Uh, yeah, you may have noticed in the previous parts it said have died of old age. I actually emailed the developer and uh, pointed that out, and uh, uh, he's apparently fixed it. So, uh, good on him. Uh, you know, he's not... He's Ukrainian, right? So, uh, he's not going to necessarily be aware of all of the uh, weird ins and outs of English. Uh, you know, which is fine. Uh, he's uh, he's done a great job with the game so far, uh, so I have to give him credit for that. Now, I need to figure out what I'm going to do with... Uh, I think I'm going to bring the uh, housing development out this way. Uh, I think, yeah. I think that's what I'm going to do. Because there's a nice, big, open, uh, flattish. Yeah, it's flat-ish enough. Okay, yeah. Uh, so, oh, sorry if I'm giving you, I'm making you dizzy doing that. Uh, right. Uh, what I'm going to do is go into the economy. I'm going to raise the house rent a bit. And I'm going to drop the wages a bit. Um, I want to see if that will uh, stabilize things a bit. Right, okay. Uh, we've got two more houses being built. Um, we've got women looking for jobs. Uh, so that means that uh, the men are mostly gainfully employed. So that's good. Uh, yeah. Uh, so we've got fishing going on. We've got somebody manning the boatyard. We've got somebody manning the thatchery. Uh, we've got people manning the trading post. Um yeah, overall, I think we're uh, pretty well off here. Uh, right, so let's go over here and uh, hire a couple... Uh, we'll hire as many builders as we can at the moment. And see if we can uh, really speed up our construction queue so that it's... Uh, uh, so that we get the... A bunch of this stuff done by uh, next uh, season. Okay, we've got another house going up. And then we will, it won't be too long before the next house after goes up. Right. Now, this is a thing about uh, Ostriv that uh, there is, there does tend to be quite a bit of waiting because if you do too much all at once, you end up in trouble. Um, yeah, that's fine. Uh, yeah, we got another family coming in, so that's good. Uh, we've got uh, still one house available. And we'll have another one available uh, in a moment. Uh, okay, so we've got some younger people coming in. So uh, they, uh, when they get to 18, they, they should start pairing off. Okay, there's the uh, last house in the queue. Yeah, uh, okay. Now the chapel. 
which I put in the graveyard. Uh, so that, uh, yeah, it doesn't take much to build one of those. And up it goes. And we will have the second farm available in time for uh, the winter, now or in the spring. What we need, however, is uh, 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 one or two more of these. Uh, yeah, uh, we need some wells so we don't run out of water. That would be bad. Um, right, I'm going to move uh, the wells to the front of the queue. They don't take much to build, uh, but they're really important to build. Um, now, uh, how are we fixed for iron? Now we have lots for now. Okay. Okay. How are we doing here? We got wells coming up. Um, yeah, so uh, you need to uh, check on this once in a while. Uh, uh, something that uh, might be nice if he, if the uh, developer would add at some point is a uh, uh, quality of life thing that gives you, that allows you to set alerts on uh, uh, types of uh, resources running out. Uh, and look, it's winter. Uh, yeah. Okay. Now. Uh, hey, that's the last well up. Uh, so we'll have uh, plenty of water now. Uh, we just need... Uh, we need this farm to get built. Uh, and it should get built before the planting season. At which point I can pause the uh, I can pause the the game and uh, put up the fields, and then uh, then it should be uh, uh, it should be possible to get this uh, farm in the rotation uh, for the for the next spring. Yeah, the farm is going up quick. Uh, then I'm going to want to queue up uh, some more houses, I think. And I th uh, once I figure out where the uh, fields are going here, that'll determine what I do. Uh, okay, now where's the boundary over this way? It's over here. Okay, we're we're good. Um, okay, the farm's built. Let's uh, pause that. Let's take a look at this here. Uh, they're offering. Yeah. Uh, okay, so. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to uh, add a field. Uh, which is going to go like this and out to here and out to here. Okay, then we'll add another field which will go out to here Out to here, and out to out to there. And then we'll add a third field, which will come out to here, uh, like so. Uh, and as you can see, I've made them all exactly the same size as usual. Uh, right. So we will we'll edit this. We'll hire. We won't hire men as workers, okay? We'll hire a manager. We'll hire all five workers. 
Now, uh, what are we going to grow here? Um, well, let's um, let's grow the same. Uh, no. Uh, let's uh, grow the. Oh, we need a uh, manager, right? Uh, so we'll get time moving again. Uh, we'll move it faster. Okay, now we've got a manager, so we can uh, do this, and we'll grow buckwheat, potato, fallow, fallow, buckwheat, potato, potato, fallow, buckwheat. Okay. And uh, we'll activate those. Good. Uh, that uh, that gives us uh, the farm, and I think, um, yeah, I'm going to put the houses this way. Actually. No, I'm going to put the houses this way. Okay, so I need one. Put one this way. Yeah. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll put uh, a house that way, and then I can put a house. Really? Okay. Yeah. Uh, no. Okay. Clearly, I'm not going to do it that way. Uh, right. Now, I'm going to put this row of houses uh, uh, up here. But I'm going to uh, put a row of houses uh, along this way. Uh, come on. Okay, whoops. Demolish. Okay, now let's try that again. Uh, if we put this one uh, like this. Oh, come on like that and uh oh oh I can put that one like that yeah uh okay so we got a row of houses there yeah I'll uh I'll do that. Um, right. Okay. Go. Uh, we got a new family came in. Uh, yep. Uh, okay. So we're going to. I'm going to have a bit of a row here, and then a row of houses here. 
Or am I? I'm not sure. Maybe I'll put a sort of square in there. I'm just going to build the houses along here. Uh, well, it looks like it's lined up uh, basically the way I want there. Okay, so I'll let the houses build. Okay, uh, that's a house up. Uh, so if we can get uh, get these houses uh, uh, all uh, operational, then uh, we can get a lot more people in, and then we'll have uh, a better chance of things, uh, uh, you know, rocking along more. Uh, now, uh, I think. Uh, no, I don't want to quite do that. Uh, what do I want to do along here? I think I want to fence this and just make it part of the, of the farm area. Uh, okay, so if we go in here, we can grab fence four, and we can, we could even close that off, but no, we'll do this, and this, oops, um, we'll put a small arch in, right, here uh, yeah I think that'll work and we'll put another one down here like so and Fence four again. Okay, and there we go. And then, right, um, it was fence four. Uh, right, and I'll bring this down here. Okay, now that will, this gives us sort of a uh, farmyard area here uh, that will keep uh, the main street separated. Now I think I'll put uh, cow sheds or chicken coops in here. Cow sheds, I think, yeah. Uh, that's probably what I'll do. And I think I'll put a hay operation here. Right. Okay, so that's a picket fence, fence number four. Right, okay. Good for that. Uh, so we're going to have a, a stack of, uh, of houses built uh, this, uh, this season. Uh, you know what? I'm going to change my mind. Yeah. I'm going to change my mind. Um, okay. I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to actually put a... Okay, so if I want that to work, I need to... Uh, I need to demolish that. Um, 
and put the fence back after I build the thing. Uh, okay. So. Come up like that. Then we can come up here. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'll that's what I wanted to do. Okay. Good. Now I'll put my fence four back. Okay, here to here and then to here. Good. Yeah, it's going to put a narrow bit through there, but it should be fine. Okay, so we've got... Okay, our fields are operating there. So uh, the farm and the uh, fields... Both farms and both f sets of fields are working, so we're good. Now, how bad is that gap? Ah, it's okay. Um, yeah, we've got lots of... Um, of uh, workers that are are busy so uh, what I'm gonna do is yeah uh, am I um, yeah I am I'm going to Going to uh, is that the angle I want? I don't think it is. Yeah, I'll mess with that uh, another time. What are these guys? Yeah, uh, right. So yeah, I've basically got uh, streets and uh, stuff being set up by virtue of building the houses the way I have. Now you might think that this uh, whole uh, grid thing is taking things a bit too far. Uh, maybe it is. Maybe it is. But, uh, you know, it's not so unreasonable either in a flat area. So, and it's not quite a solid grid. Um, like this stuff messes with it, uh, this stuff will mess with it, so... Um, it would be nice if you could build fe build the fences for um, for these things to be uh, less uh, straight, but you know, that's fine. Yeah, uh, I think... Okay, we're just about at the 100 uh, citizens mark. So uh, that's when we need the uh, chapel, right? Uh, so there's jobs available, apparently, uh, on occasion at least. So we could uh, could easily end up with uh, uh, another family appearing. Uh, it wouldn't take much to get a. Uh, uh, wait, wait a minute. Let's look at... Okay, yeah, we got lots of stuff in the granary. Uh, what's in the storage? Um, yeah, uh, we're, we're doing okay there. Uh, so what I want to do, uh, I want to get uh, cow sheds uh, operational. Um, relatively quickly. Uh, where there's the cow sheds. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to put a cow shed here, 
and I'm going to put one here. Uh, uh, yeah, there. Okay. And I think I can... Well, I have two fallow fields, so I only want two of them. Yeah, and I'm going to want... Uh, storage. Hey, barrack. Probably should be barracks, uh, but uh, we'll put those over here. One, two, three. And we'll go over and uh, hay dryer. Hay dryer. Okay. That doesn't fit there. Okay. Yeah, like I, I said, I was going to put the hay over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six of them should be enough. Uh, it's probably more than enough, but we'll, uh, we'll get that going. We'll get this going. And uh, we'll want uh, we'll need a water supply for the livestock, so we'll put that there. Okay, so that gets the uh, construction we'll need for the next time around queued up. Uh, and then uh, we can get everything ready for when we can purchase some cattle. Uh, now I heard or I read that uh, uh, there's a, a bug where you continue, where once you get negative for money, you continue to go negative. So let's see. But no, we're not uh, net positive. So yeah, we're not net positive. So I'm going to. Uh, bump the uh, rent a bit more now uh, so if we can get net positive then uh, then we'll have uh, a uh, much better uh, scenario going um, right okay so we're building so we'll have two cow sheds that'll allow us to have 40 cattle uh, and uh, and then we'll also be able to uh, breed oxen, which will, uh, which we can attach to plows for the farms, uh, and that will uh, uh, that will improve our yields, uh, which is uh, definitely good. So uh, you know, there's that. Uh, what are you? Um, yeah, not so much. Uh, right. Uh, see, my goal is to ultimately get uh, net uh, positive without exports. Uh, that way, um, well, that way uh, we don't run into any uh, potential issues in the future if the developer adds some consequence for negative um, uh, treasuries. Uh, okay, and the second cow shed is going up. Right. So if you uh, weren't aware uh, and you're interested in Ostriv, it's available in early access on Steam. Uh, it may also be available through Humble Bundle. Um, and GOG. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, but uh, I'm uh, running the Steam version uh, under Proton uh, and it works reasonably well. So, uh, you know, that's uh, so if you're on Linux, keep that in mind. You can actually run it. 
Uh, so the hay barracks are going up. Um, right, so our uh, construction frenzy is, uh, you know, paying dividends here uh, eventually. What, we've got hay in there already? Huh. Okay, so we'll have uh, enough hay to stock these. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to hire women for these. And I'm going to keep them fully staffed year-round. Now, the reason for doing that is uh, then I have less unemployment. Uh, yeah. Now, you are not offering cattle. Okay. Uh, now, we've got uh, more, uh, more people coming in. Uh, the wells are going up in the farm. The hay barracks are doing their thing. Yeah, so... Uh, and we're coming up on harvest. There we go. So, uh, harvest season is a good way to um, <laughs> attract uh, people due to employment, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to have, uh, you know, a rather large amount of uh, prod uh, produce here. Um, yeah. Uh, so I think I probably should queue up a few more houses. Okay. Uh, I'll start from the top here. Okay, we'll do this. One, two, three, four, uh, and then we'll put another set of them up this side. Yeah, I know I said I was going to change the direction of these, but eh, I changed my mind. Okay, uh, that's that, and I think... Uh, I'll extend this block up to the four places occupied by what? Oh, it's occupied by uh, logs. Okay. Uh, okay, I'll... Uh, There we go. There's that uh, that block there. Right. Okay. So we've got a big stack of uh, of houses queued up. Uh, then uh, that should get us a large population boost. Uh, well, we've got 112 population now. Oh yeah, our existing housing is full. So yeah. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to down tempo this. Um, so there we are. Uh, that's uh, that's going to be this episode. Uh, it was a little longer than I expected, but that's fine. Uh, so that's uh, that's going to be all for this time. Uh, next time around, I'm going to be trying to get the cattle uh, operation going. Uh, and then I will be... Um, I'll be looking at uh, a slaughterhouse, I think. And... Uh, yeah, a slaughterhouse. And then, uh, then from there... Uh, We'll start looking at uh, the sorts of things we can export, I think. Uh, I'll want another farm that's growing uh, sunflowers and hemp, I think. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, that's going to be all for this time. Uh, 
So, uh, you know, stay healthy. Uh, next episode will be along in about a week. So I guess I'll see everybody that. I'll see everybody back then.